Hi, this is Anil. In this video, I'll show you how to create a Spring MVC web project using NetBeans IDE. For that, click New Project and select Web Application. Click Next, View Project Name, Spring Web MVC Demo 2. And click Next here, you select uh, Java IE 5 and give the context path. Click Next. Here we need to select the Spring Web MVC framework. I'm also selecting the Hibernate framework. In Spring Web MVC, we have to give the URL pattern. Uh, we can give anything, but here we are giving stored at HTM. In Spring MVC, dispatches servlet act as a front controller. Any request comes with uh, stored at HTM. It uh, the request will go to dispatches servlet, and dispatches servlet will uh, uh, send the request uh, appropriate controller so click finish NetBeans ID has created a uh, lot of files for us first we'll examine web.xml here it has one servlet called dispatcher servlet is already configured for us dispatcher servlet and uh, configured URL pattern as stored at HTM and uh, it also configured welcome file list redirect.jsp if i go to redirect.jsp it is redirecting to windows.html that means whenever we load the application web application it is the uh, it will load the redirect.jsp and in turn it goes to index.htm that means whenever index.htm comes dispatcher solid will find appropriate controller so it is all uh, and it means also created dispatcher servlet this is application context here we have simple url handler mapping in that we have index.htm whenever request url has index.htm it finds the index.controller and it comes here here we are using parameterizable view controller this controller simply forward the request to index.jsp do not do any logic and all those things so it will go to index.jsp here we have vResolver this vResolver construct uh, index.jsp using the prefix it, is it will attach webinf slash jsp index.jsp and it will find this jsp here webinf jsp folder and forward the request to this index.jsp if I run this application Here we can see the index.jsp contents. The admins also created application context.xml. It contains a data source bean. And if you want, you can configure Hibernate JPA and we can configure JDBC properties, everything. In the next video, I'll show you how to create a simple controller and how to use Hibernate and all those things. Thanks for watching.